It is very ironic that I'm talking about skincare while my skin looks like sh Hello everybody, welcome back to Making It Up. As always, I am Isa, and today we're talking about skincare. I don't usually focus on skincare on my channel or on my blog or on Instagram simply because I am not a skincare expert. I am more of a makeup expert. So, you know, I'm a little bit skeptical because I am not a professional and I don't exactly know how skincare works, but throughout the years I have been, you know, learning more and more about skincare. I know the basics, obviously, but I've been educated educating myself more. I have been learning so much about skincare in quarantine though because my skin has been not ideal so I've been watching a lot of YouTube and reading a lot about skincare and ingredients and what they do for your skin and what my skin needs and I've been kind of tweaking my skincare routine to reflect that. I had a few skincare favorites already but over the last few months I've acquired a lot of new favorites that I didn't even know I owned. I've discovered so many products in my collection. I have rediscovered things that I love and I want to talk to you guys about them today because I just think that is very very fun and we all could benefit from a little bit of more skincare in our lives so I'm sharing my favorite skincare items at the moment and if you want to know what they are then uh, keep on watching okay before I actually start with the products I just want to let you guys know I have combo skin and for most of the year it's a little bit on the oilier side but I only get oily here like my t-zone so I'm not super oily I'm more combo all year round but if I'm ever in cold weather and it it's very dry in the atmosphere. My skin will dry out. So, but for the most part, I'm combo. That's what I work with most of the year. And I am not sensitive at all. My skin isn't sensitive. I can put a lot on it and it'll never react poorly. Just for you to keep in mind whilst I talk about these products. So the first thing I have here is the Biro New York Rice Cleansing Sorbet. This was gifted to me by Biro. They're a relatively new brand and I've been really enjoying this. I've been getting really serious about double cleanse because I've been noticing a lot of blackheads on my nose, which is very unfortunate. I've been double cleansing a lot more now and right now I'm using this one. I've been using it for a few weeks now and I really like it. This is basically just, you know, a cleanser. It has good ingredients. It smells really good. The fragrance is relatively strong. So if you're sensitive to fragrance, this is probably not good for you, but it doesn't really do anything to my skin. I would be careful though because on my eyes, if it gets into my eyes, it is a bit irritating because of the fragrance. But for the most part, what I've been using it for, it's been working great. If I'm wearing makeup, it'll take everything off. And when I'm not, it definitely works into my skin to, you know, take away all the oils and disgusting things. If you're wanting to get into a double cleanse, I think this would be a really, really good product to do so. Up next, I have the Use to the People Kale Plus Green Tea Spinach Vitamins Superfood Cleanser. I have talked about this before and I just recently emptied it. I am very sad about that, but this is just my number one cleanser. I have never tried another cleanser that works like this does for me. Granted, I haven't tried a lot of cleansers, but this just amazing. I've had this for over a year and I just recently finished. I wasn't using it consistently morning and night every single day. I was kind of rotating, but it was the one that I use the most and I just used it up. There are eight ounces of product in here, so it's totally worth it for the price you pay. I don't think it's over $40 and you get so much product, so that's one thing to keep in mind, but this is just a super basic cleanser. It will cleanse your skin. It won't strip it. It smells really good as well, but it's just a very soothing. It doesn't strip your skin. It's very easy. I used to use use this a lot in the morning because I just really enjoyed having that clean feeling just fresh but it doesn't really do anything major for your skin it just keeps it balanced and clean and I really enjoyed it I am definitely repurchasing it because I love it up next I have a very bougie product this is a Tatcha the rice polish classic this was a gift from my family on Christmas like two Christmases ago and I love it I use it very sparingly it is very expensive but this is a very gentle exfoliator this is a foaming enzyme powder exfoliant for normal to dry skin Obviously this was a gift so I couldn't like customize it, but it works really well for me. It is a very gentle exfoliant. If you're not into chemical exfoliants or anything super harsh on your skin, I definitely recommend something like this. It is a powder. Basically all you do is add a little bit to your hand, mix it with water, and then it becomes kind of like a foam. It never feels very gritty on your skin and it doesn't irritate it at all. Another thing is you can use this daily if your skin kind of regenerates itself faster than other people and you 
find yourself with a lot of dead skin cells. Something like this could be great because it's gentle enough to use it every single day. It's a really, really nice thing to add to your routine. I think there are others that are less expensive, like alternatives to this, but I really like this one. It has great ingredients and it just, it's a great addition. I use it like once or twice a week. Still have a lot of product in here because you only really need a little bit. That might be because I have the smallest face on earth, but um, hey, makes my products last longer, so. I think I win. Okay, next product is the Kos RX BHA Blackhead Power Liquid. As I have been mentioning, blackheads have graced my face recently. And when I bought this, it was specifically for, you know, the blackhead removal thing. But since then, I've learned how good BHA is for your skin. It is another gentle exfoliant. So again, I don't use this every day, even though it is very gentle. Whenever I apply this after I do my double cleanse, it is kind of tingly. It does tingle on your skin, but it isn't really bad. It isn't burny at all. And I like the tingle because I kind of feel it working. Like in my head, I imagine it's kind of like the product going into my blackheads and like zapping them and killing them. I have noticed a good difference with the combination of the double cleanse and using this. It is also affordable, less than $20, I believe. This is a great, great product and I love uh, CosRx in general. This is just one of my favorites. Up next, I have the Ordinary Marine Hyaluronics Ultra Lightweight Hydration Support and Marine Dry Vegan Water Reservoir. Wait, is this not hyaluronic acid? In my head, this has been hyaluronic acid for a long time. This is marine hyaluronic, so I don't know if this is hyaluronic acid or something else. Whatever it is, I love it for hydration. I've used it quite a bit. I try to use it almost every day, and I find that this is really nice to boost hydration. After I'm done with my toners and stuff, I apply this, and then I go into my moisturizer, and I find that it works really well. This is just a basic product. It doesn't irritate my skin. It leaves it feeling very supple. I can use it daily, and it's fine. It's just a basic product, I think. If this is just a regular hyaluronic acid, then it's a must in everyone's collection. In my opinion, I really, really enjoy it, and I feel like it has benefits for everyone's skin. If it's not, I have to research what it actually does, but it's very hydrating, very basic in my routine, and um, it is affordable as well, which is a plus. Always a plus. Another serum that I love is the Verse Just Breathing Clarifying Serum with Willow Bark Extract Plus Sync Blend. Verse is a great brand. It's also very affordable. You can get it at Target and they have amazing products. I just love this because it keeps my breakouts in check without being super harsh. So whenever I have a lot of breakouts, if I use a lot of like salicylic acid and like things like things to put on your breakout, I am blanking on the word, then I can really dry out my skin from using all those products. But using this keeps them in check. It obviously isn't as effective, but it really takes care of all of my skin, not just the breakouts. It is really, really nice. It has really great ingredients. I am almost out of this. I've used it so much, like I've, I never really run out of products because I try so many things, but this has been, I've been using this daily. Like every morning after I cleanse my skin, I apply this and it just, I've noticed a difference in my skin. It is just a very gentle way to keep my breakouts in check and trying not to pick at them as much and stuff. So it is very important for me to have something like this to just control my skin, but do it gently. So I think if you have sensitive skin, but some problem areas, you could really benefit from this product. Another product that really helps me with my breakouts while still being gentle is the herbivore lapis facial oil i only have a sample of this and i am using it quite fast but i really really love this because again just like the first serum it is very gentle on my breakouts but it really helps keeping them in check something extra that i like is that this one's a little bit heavier it is an oil so it's more hydrating moisturizing on the skin i usually apply this after i'm done with my whole routine to like seal everything off because it is an oil honestly don't really know the ingredients in, on this but i just i know it's to help you with problem skin and it's really been helping a lot this is a product that I could potentially see myself buying the full size of it because it has done so many great things for my skin whenever I'm very blemishy and I don't get super super bad like acne or a lot of blemishes at the same time but I do you know I have texture and a few bumps here and there you know I want to stop my skin from getting a lot more breakouts and stuff so something like this is really good for that as well next up I have one of my most loved prized possessions this is a Vichy mineral 89 skin fortifying daily booster this 
This is a serum. This one was gifted, but I have raved about this before and I've bought it before. Vichy actually gifted it to me. I love this product so much. I have nothing else like this in my collection. So this is a serum, but it's a little bit more sticky. So it's not drops, it's a pump, but it just does magic on your face. Because it is a serum, this is a hydrating serum. I think it is hyaluronic acid. It has a lot of good ingredients on it. But what I love the most about this is that it is very hydrating without being very heavy. Since I do have combo skin, I try to look for things that aren't super oily. When it comes to moisturizers, I'd rather prefer gels, and this is just perfect for that. I like to use it daily. I kind of do rotate, but for the most part, I just use this on a daily basis. As like my main source of moisture, I don't really go in with moisturizer in the morning. Most of the time, I'm just wearing this, and I love it because it sinks into the skin so quickly, but it is very hydrating. It's not like a product that just sinks in and then eh. My dad has really oily skin. He hates wearing moisturizer because he feels like that just makes him oilier, but he loves this because his skin just absorbs it so quickly and he doesn't, you know, he doesn't have the oily residue that a lot of moisturizers or serums can leave you with. So if you have oily skin, I think this is such a good product. I cannot live without it. I really do use it all the time. It's amazing. Up next, I have the Pharmacy Honey Potion Renewing Antioxidant Hydration Mask. A few of the products that I show you guys are kind of sample sizes. That's just sort of how I try out skincare. If I'm not sure of how it's going to work on my skin, I really like to go for minis or like little sets to try things out and then see if I want to bite the bullet, which is a good idea if you're not sure about products that are expensive. <laughs> this mask, what can I say about this? Hydration station. So if you're in need of hydration, if your skin feels dull or like so, so dry, this is insane. This is a very unique because first of all, it is very goopy. It's like honey, basically. It even smells kind of like honey. But what I love about this mask is when you put it on your skin, you rub it in and it starts heating up so you feel like something's happening and it heats up and then you leave it on your skin for a few minutes and it's just such a weird, it's very sticky, but it's just such a weird feeling. When you take it off, you notice results right away. It is very hydrating, it leaves your skin feeling very nice and even though it heats up, it doesn't burn my skin or anything. It's just like a pleasant feeling that gives you like that placebo effect that it's working and it's doing something for your skin. And when I take it off my skin looks amazing more hydrated less dull it's just one of those masks that i would again like the lapis oil think about purchasing full size up next i have the erno laszlo new york antioxidant complex for eyes again this was gifted to me and I, it's very expensive it's a very expensive eye cream but i I love it. First of all, you get so much product. How much is in this? 0.5 fluid ounces, but it's just, to me, it looks like a lot of product. If you have oilier or combo skin and you find that sometimes eye creams can be a little bit too oily for you, this is a gel-based eye cream, so it's amazing. Again, like the Vichy product, I like to use it during the day, so this is a really, really good eye cream to wear during the day. It works really, really well under makeup. Since it is a gel, it absorbs super quickly, but it is very hydrating. I know this product is made with wrinkles in mind. I don't really have that since I'm a wee kid still but um i've noticed and i've heard a lot of people talk about how it's really good for under eyes as you get older as well it's just a very very lightweight eye cream don't really own anything else like it and it's perfect for my daily wear whether i use makeup or not it's just it's very unique it's like my favorite eye cream that i own right now up next i have the kos rx another kos rx product the lancium comfort ceramide cream as you can see, I am almost out of this. It is literally in its last legs. I've been trying to squeeze every little last bit that I have of this because I love it. Again, it is very affordable. I think less than $20 again, got it off Amazon. I got this when I was going through a really rough patch with my skin, like last year it got really, really dry. I heard that ceramides really help you rebuild your moisture barrier. So I got it and I loved it so, so much. It is really good ingredients and it is very, very moisturizing on your skin without being too heavy. This I could use on a daily basis. It is very hydrating but it doesn't go overboard. It doesn't feel heavy and it really sinks into my skin. It is a very basic moisturizer. It doesn't promise like oh you get glowy skin or anything. It's basic but it works. The ceramides really help you with your moisture barrier if you're having problems with that and it is a very affordable ceramide cream and I'm so sad that I'm almost done with it. It is depressing but <laughs> it's amazing and it is one of those products that 
I wouldn't think about repurchasing because it is very affordable as well. Last but not least, I have another newer addition to my skin routine, and this is a Tower 28 Daily Rescue Facial Spray. This is the SOS Facial Spray. Again, I only got a sample. I wanted to try it out after I heard so many people talking about this so, so highly. This helps soothe irritation and defend against daily damage from skin's everyday stressors, including makeup, sweat, grime, and pollution. Whenever I have an allergic outburst from kissing my dog or my skin's irritated for whatever reason I go in with this and it's like a magic potion it's literally like you spray it and it calms the skin so so nicely and gently it is made with clean ingredients I've heard about a lot of people with eczema that use this and it really helps them soothe their eczema it seems to work for a lot of people and it is just fragrance free alcohol free oil free hypoallergenic you can use it a.m. or p.m. or whenever just to refresh your skin but if you do have irritation on your skin this is a really great product it is very gentle and for me I use it mostly when I am getting an allergic reaction from anything and it just works. It really, really does help my skin. I've noticed a huge difference and this is really SOS. This saves my skin. The Jonas Brothers wrote a song about this product right here, okay? Yeah. Okay, you guys, and that is a glimpse of my favorite skincare products at the moment. This isn't my routine though. I don't use these all on one day. That would be very excessive. I rotate and use other products as well, but these are just the ones that are my favorite right now and that I've noticed a lot of difference on my skin. Skin. just wanted to clarify that and since I just shared my favorites with you I want to know what your favorite skincare products are so yeah let me know in the comments anything you think I should try you know the works I really want to have a conversation with you guys in the comments and I want to learn about new products from the people that I trust the most the consumer so let me know what your favorites are as always if you liked this video make sure to give it a thumbs up it helps me out a lot in the youtube algorithm and again if you're into super easy and real beauty and makeup content then make sure to subscribe follow me on instagram read my blog whatever your heart desires <laughs> i hope this video was helpful thank you again for watching and i will see you in the next one okay bye everybody Mwah.